everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about five modifications which are some good ideas to do as the first modifications for your car. And so, you know, there's there's a lot of different things you can do to a vehicle and not necessarily in any order are we going to be discussing these. Uh, but one of the most important things you can ever do, so number one, is tires. And if you've watched this channel then you've heard me ramble way too much about tires. So I'm not going to get into it too much. But basically tires dictate everything. They dictate your maximum acceleration, your maximum deceleration, your maximum cornering. And so, you know, of course you need power in order to get maximum acceleration, uh, but you're not going to get that if you don't have the traction to do it. So tires are the most important modification out there. Braking, acceleration, cornering, they change everything. If you haven't yet, I'd really recommend watching my video, What is the Best Mod, um, where I talk about the math behind this and why tires are so important. 10 times as effective in certain scenarios versus adding power. And so that's just kind of crazy to think about. Uh, so the next one I want to talk about is brakes. And I think there's a common misconception about brakes uh, that, you know, upgrading your brakes means you can stop faster. You'll have a shorter stopping distance. That's not really the way brakes work. Brakes don't dictate your stopping distance. Tires do. And so if you have brakes that you can slam on them and the wheels can lock up, that means your brakes have enough force uh, to stop your tires from moving. And that's all they really need to be able to do in order for you to have maximum deceleration. At that point, it's your tires that become the limiting factor. So if you want good stopping distance, you need nice tires. Brakes, the purpose of brakes is to turn kinetic energy into heat. So your car is moving, you hit the brakes, and the, the brakes heat up, those brake rotors heat up, and as a result, your car slows down. And so the, the thing that you want to do with brakes uh, in order to improve them is either improve the cooling or improve how much heat they can retain. So you do this uh, through design or by the size of the brakes. So if you think about a large hill, and you're at the top of this hill, a small brake will heat up faster and fail earlier while you're going down that hill. A larger brake will fail later going down that hill if you're just using, you know, your disc brakes to slow you down. Likewise, a brake with better cooling will fail later than a brake with worse cooling. So the ventilation within it, how it's designed, that is all very important uh, for the stopping distance uh, once you get to higher temperatures. So brake fade is what you're trying to eliminate by upgrading your brakes. This is especially important if you plan on adding power to your vehicle or if you plan on taking your vehicle to the track uh, where you want that extra heat retention, the larger disc brakes, or the better cooling in them uh, so that you can continuously use them and not worry about coming into a corner at 120 miles an hour and then your brakes failing on you and you're just going straight at that corner. So brakes are number two. Uh, number three I'd like to talk about is an LSD. And so putting in a limited slip differential if you have a rear wheel drive vehicle or even front wheel drive vehicle can be very beneficial. The reason being is open differentials send power 50-50, they have a 50-50 torque split. So what does that mean? Well, let's say you're coming into a corner and you lose a little bit of traction with one of those wheels. Well, that wheel is spinning and it's not getting much torque sent to it. So now the other wheel is also not getting much torque sent to it because both of them receive the same amount of torque in an open differential. What a limited slip differential does is it sends more torque to the wheel that's spinning slower. And so if you've got one wheel on ice and one wheel on pavement, the wheel on pavement is going to be spinning slower, so your LSD is going to send torque to that, and as a result, you're going to be able to accelerate better. So LSDs can improve your acceleration coming out of a corner. They can improve your acceleration depending on road surfaces, uh, and they can also get you sideways. So there's some huge benefits to putting in a limited slip differential if your car doesn't yet have one. Uh, so that would be my number three recommendation. My number four recommendation is updating your final drive ratio. This is really a way to make your car more fun. This is what Subaru in fact did with this 2017 BRZ which we are in right now, is they put a 4.3 final drive ratio in it versus the 4.1 that was in it. So what does that do? Well that takes your wheel torque, the torque that you're actually applying to the wheel, the force that's coming from your wheel that's accelerating you forward, and in every gear it lifts it by that percentage. So 4.3 divided by 4.1, whatever that is, something like 5 or 6 percent, every gear is going to have that much more force at the wheels. 
Now, at a point, this becomes meaningless. You're not changing the torque of your engine. You're not changing the power of your engine. You're just changing the gearing. And so you're sacrificing top speed for more wheel torque. But let's say you just went from a 4.1 to like a 5.1. Well, then you might just replace a uh, second gear. So first gear may now have the, or second gear may now have the exact gearing of first gear. And at that point, it's meaningless. You've just eliminated a gear and you've reduced your top speed. So there's a certain point, you know, a certain percentage where it's worth doing and then a certain point where you're just eliminating gears and there's no reason to do it. But you can get more wheel torque, which just makes it more fun. That's why you'll see in performance packages, like on the Mustang, you can get, I don't know what it is, but like a 4.3, a 4.5 something, or 4.7. If you get that 4.7, you're gonna be putting down the most wheel torque, you're gonna have the easiest time spinning tires, uh, and that's what makes these cars fun. So, you know, specifically, more for rear wheel drive cars, that you'll, you'll really enjoy that. Uh, but, you know, front wheel drive, the same thing. If you change that ratio, you're going to get a uh, better wheel torque. And so the final thing I want to talk about, and you know, this one's a little different. You may think why, but an exhaust. And I don't necessarily think like getting some loud exhaust is the smartest thing to do. Uh, but one of the things you'll notice is that factory exhaust systems tend to be really heavy. And perhaps this is for noise levels. I'm not really a fan of super loud exhausts, but there are still quiet exhausts out there that are significantly lighter than stock exhaust. So one of the big benefits of changing to a lighter exhaust uh, is just saving weight. And so, you know, a lot of OEM exhausts are really heavy, and so that's a pretty simple thing that you can do just to reduce some weight from the vehicle. Let's get in second gear here. Have a little fun on this corner. Wow, it just holds. It's amazing. It usually slides out there, but this thing just held it. Good fun. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, you can take out some weight with exhaust there, and you're not sacrificing the drivability of the vehicle. So that's one of the things that I kind of focused on with this video is, you know, five modifications that aren't actually going to sacrifice your car as far as turning it into a, a track car. You're not going to be losing the comfort of the vehicle with these modifications, which, you know, a lot of times you will be doing. So tires, brakes, uh, the differential, the final drive could lower your top speed and could make it a little bit louder as well as the exhaust making it a little bit louder. But really all of these focus on keeping the everyday drivability of your car the exact same and just making it more fun to drive. And so that's what I think is important uh, for first modifications. They future proof you, they get ready for you know adding power and things like that. Uh, and they also don't turn your car into this track car where you know you no longer enjoy driving it on a day to day basis. So if you guys have any recommendations or questions, things like that, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.